is the eighth tutorial in the series of Final Cut Beginners Lessons. In this lesson, you'll look at adding effects. Use your My First Edit project or follow from here with completed lesson seven. Click the eye above to access lesson one that has details on how to download the course material. As with titles and transitions, Final Cut ships with many built-in effects. You can purchase more and you can access a number for free. They're also known as plugins. In this lesson, I'll show you some and you'll be able to try others for yourself. Effects are selected from the far right of the menu bar next to the transitions button. They're visible when the button is blue and hidden when it's white. You'll see a sidebar with subheadings. Again, I'll have different items than on your computer. And if you've selected all, you can type a term in the search field at the bottom. Let's look at adding effects to the project. Some effects are presets of various color corrections. Other effects completely change the look of a clip that they're applied to. Let's look at the color preset category first. Place the playhead over clip 49. In the effects sidebar, select basics. Hover over hard light. That's too dramatic. Hover over crisp contrast. This is still too much of a change, but you can adjust that in the inspector. Double click the crisp contrast. The fix added to the clip at the playhead, and you can see the change in the viewer, but there's no obvious change in the timeline. Only in the viewer and when you look in the inspector. And a tip, when you add transitions, titles and generators, you see them added to the timeline. But effects go inside the clip in the timeline and are adjustable in the inspector. Make sure clip 49 is selected in the timeline and look in the inspector with the film strip button selected. You'll see crisp contrast effect at the top. Drag the slider left to about 40, which will reduce the contrast. Now that clip 49 is different than the other clips, let's apply that effect to them as well. You could repeat the process for each clip, but that would be far too tedious. There's a quicker way. Simply copy one clip and then paste the effect onto the other clips using Paste Effect from the Edit menu. Let's see how to do that. Select 49, copy, that's Command plus C. Select all the clips with the command key held down or by lassoing. Go to the edit menu, select effects or command plus option plus V. And a warning, effects are additive. When you add them to a clip, they are added to any other effects that are already on that clip. When you selected all clips, you would have also selected clip 49. And since effects are additive, crisp contrast will be there twice. Check the inspector and you can disable one of these by unchecking a blue tick. Now let's use a more radical effect. For the last clip, you're going to fade out with a comic look effect. In the effects sidebar, select comic looks drag it inside 120. The whole clip is turned to a black and white comic look. But let's fade into that. Place the playhead at the beginning of the clip in the timeline. In the inspector, hover the mouse pointer to the right of mix. It's currently at 100%. To the right, you'll see a diamond with a plus sign inside. Click the diamond, it'll turn orange, and you've added a keyframe. Drag the mix slider all the way to the left. You'll learn more about keyframing in lesson 14, Easy Animation. Now move the playhead to about halfway through clip 120 in the timeline, and in the inspector, slide the mix to the right. That's back to 100%. And as you've been working through the last eight lessons, you'll have realized by now that you need to move around the timeline and at times the view is so small it's hard to see what you're trying to adjust. In the next lesson, you'll look at ways to quickly move around the timeline as well as increase and decrease the size of the viewing area of the timeline. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and press the bell.